What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken, and I've got a haul video for you guys today, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, but we got some new releases. We have got some Amazon Black Friday pickups that I'm going to get into. We've got some subscriber mail, and I have a very special uh, package from Lionsgate that I cannot wait to get into, but I'll save that one for the end. Uh, but look, before we get into it, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i would definitely appreciate it um you know we cover physical media on this channel blu-rays 4ks all that kind of stuff movies owning the movies that you love you like that kind of thing hit the subscribe button and then you know turn on the bell notification so let's get right into it in this first release uh that i'm going to get into was sent to me by warner brothers uh to review and talk about on this channel and that is don't worry darling so this actually comes out on november the 29th so i got it in a week early um, so yeah, I'm excited to have this one in the collection. I did watch this already on HBO Max. So if you want to know my thoughts on it, I actually reviewed it because uh, my wife couldn't wait. I told her, I said, I'm getting the 4K. Can you wait so we can watch it on 4K? She said, no, I want to watch it on HBO Max. So we watched it on HBO Max. We reviewed it on our channel. I'll try to link that somewhere up there that use like one of those card things. So if you want to go check out our review, go check it out. Subscribe to our channel um, if you haven't already. But this movie was okay. I, I did not love this movie. Um, it was okay. It's already fighting an uphill battle. I'm not the biggest fan of Florence Pugh. I'm just not. I don't think she's a very good actress. I think she's extremely overrated. Um, but I will say she was she was fine. She was she was not bad in this movie. She was okay. Everything about this movie was okay. It was a very derivative film of just like tons of stuff that I've seen um, in other movies. But the movie itself, like it wasn't bad. It was a beautiful movie. Like it looked great um, in, in Dolby Vision in 4K on HBO Max because it streamed with Dolby Vision, HDR, and all that, all that stuff in 4K. And it looked phenomenal on streaming. So I can only imagine what it looks like on 4K, actual physical, um, an actual physical copy of it. But don't worry, darling, on 4K it comes out next week from Warner Brothers on November the 29th. So um, yeah, as you can tell right away, we'll do a little unboxing. Doesn't have a slip cover. So that's, uh, I know that's gonna rub some people the wrong way. I know it's gonna rub some people the wrong way. Warner Brothers does this from time to time. I think they did this with The Outsiders actually last year. Couple other releases from time to time. I don't know, maybe I need to ask them, like why do they do this on like certain releases? I just don't understand uh, the reasoning behind it, the logic. Like they know collectors buy this stuff. Like I put the slipcover on the damn thing. Like what? What? This is a new release film. It's not like a catalog title. Put the slipcover on here. But anyway, didn't come with the slipcover. Uh, but it's a nice cover. And you got the back right there. The back's actually interesting because it's like a different layout than usual. You have like special features up here, the casting list right there, all the specs and stuff down there at the bottom. So that's kind of interesting. And then we'll you know take a look at the spine right there. Don't worry, darling. I don't even know if you guys can see that, uh, but okay, let's open this thing up. And look guys, because I got this sent to me uh, by Warner Brothers to review and talk about, I'm gonna pay it forward. I'm gonna give you all the digital code. So you guys ready? Are you guys ready for the digital code? Cause it's coming, it's coming, it's coming right now. Here we go, here we go. The digital code for Don't Worry Darling. So first come, first serve, the first person that sees it and gets it and types it into their TV or Voodoo or whatever. What do you get this on? Movies anywhere? I don't do a lot of digital codes so because I give most of them away on the channel. Um, whoever gets it first gets it. So there you go. You're welcome. Uh, but anyway, I didn't show you all the discs. That might be the coolest thing about this release. It has a pink disc. That's awesome. <laughs> a pink disc and that's the Blu-ray. Uh, and the 4K is, is the black disc. And then I'll show it again right here. Uh, you do have some special features, it looks like, on here. You have the making of Don't Worry Darling. Hopefully they, well, actually, hopefully they get into the drama, which I'm sure that they won't because there's a lot of drama surrounding this film with Olivia Wilde and Florence Pugh. And uh, who's the other people in this movie? Shia LaBeouf was supposed to be in this movie, but you got Chris Pine, Harry Styles. I will say Chris Pine, Chris Pine was the best part about this movie. He's a great actor, and he was really good in this movie um, for sure, but... Yeah, don't worry, darling. You can get it next week, uh, November the 29th. And again, thank you, Warner Brothers, for sending this to me to talk about. So there you go. All right, let's get into uh, a new release that came out this week, one that I'm really excited to watch and probably do a review for on the channel. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time, but I'm going to really try to do a review for this at some point. The Company of Wolves. So this is a 1984 film. This came out from Screen Factory. 
And I have never seen this movie, but it looks like just from the cover and what I'm seeing on the back, like this is based off of like Little Red Riding Hood. So don't know too much about this movie, uh, but I'll kind of show you all the back right there. Zoom in on the special features and stuff. So this is a two disc uh, collector set. You do get a new 4K. It is a new 2022 4K scan of the original camera negative. Uh, you get an audio commentary with director Neil Jordan. And on disc two, you get a new 2022 4K scan of the original camera negative. So the Blu-ray is a 4K scan. New interview with the producer, uh, Chris Brown and special makeup effects artist, uh, Christopher Tucker. You get an audio commentary, theatrical trailer still gallery. So it doesn't look like there's too much in terms of, spe of special features here. Um, but at least you do get one new special feature, a new interview um, on this release. And then we'll take it out of the slip cover. And you have reversible cover art on this one, ladies and gentlemen. So that's definitely uh, pretty cool. And I'll kind of zoom in on the back real quick. And the reason for that is, is that Screen Factory has not released this before. This is the first time that it's come uh, to the Screen Factory collection. So usually movies like this, movies like Alligator, anything that's new to Screen Factory, they will do reversible cover art. But if it's a upgrade of a pre-existing Screen Factory uh, Blu-ray, they don't, which I don't understand. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? But that's the, uh, you know, the, the regular artwork. And then you get the um, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like the older poster of the movie. Uh, I imagine it probably is, but it's cool. It's cool artwork for sure. And then you get disc art um, on both the Blu-ray and the 4K. So that's that's definitely cool. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, look for a review for this one because I really want to dive into this one and do a review uh, pretty soon on the channel. All right, so that's, uh, and again, this one came out this week, uh, November the 22nd. So let's get into some of my Amazon uh, Prime not Prime, I want to say Amazon Prime sales, Amazon Black Friday pickups. So these all went on sale. These are all Paramount Presents titles. They all went on sale, I think last, I can't remember when it was, maybe it was like last Wednesday, last Thursday, but shout out to Convicted Cinephile if you're watching, but he posted it on his Instagram and I saw it. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I got to catch up on that line. And they were all for 13 bucks. I was like, this is the perfect opportunity. So I looked on there and I found like seven that I needed and just right away loaded them all in the cart and got them immediately because I don't think they stayed up uh, for too long on Amazon. So yeah, really excited to get these. I'm actually still waiting on one, but I'll go ahead and show these off. I got Bugsy. I got Bugsy right here. So this is a movie starring Jodie Foster, Scott Bayo, and this is spine number 23. And all of these came, I got them all from Amazon. All these came in really good condition. So I was really happy about that. And I don't know if I want to do a, a full on unboxing with these. But I think I will. I think I will. I might as well, right? We're already here, guys. I might as well just, you know, start throwing plastic all over the floor. Uh, but you got Bugsy. And we'll show you the, the back of Bugsy. And then, you know, the thing that I love about all these, you got this little fold-out poster thing right here on the front on the slipcover. And then you take it out. This is in plastic, too. I'm not going to bother taking out the plastic. I don't know if all these come with like digital codes, but yeah, like I said, these this is in good condition. Bugsy, I got I also got Breakdown. I've been wanting to get Breakdown for the longest time, uh, but it's the one that's always, I feel like been the most stubborn as far as like sales and stuff. Whenever they go on sale, like these will hardly, um, you know, Breakdown hardly ever goes on sale. It's always like $19, $20. And I'm gonna have a tough time getting all this stuff out. And yeah, Breakdown right here, Kurt Russell, Go ahead and show you the back. I've heard great things about this movie, so I'm really excited to check this one out. Ooh, that poster is badass. I love that poster. I've definitely seen that poster uh, a lot before. Um, but this is spine number uh, 26, and this one came out in 1997. 1997 was a great year uh, for film, for sure. Absolute great year. Um, also got Vanilla Sky with, of course, Tom Cruise. Bam, bam, the man Tom Cruise. Now, this was rumored to come out in 4K, and I can't, I just, look, with the Paramount Presents, I've been collecting for these since the beginning. I stopped for a while, so now I'm trying to catch up, and I don't I don't care if they're going to come out in 4K. I just want them all, you know, I'm, I'm that way with Vestron. I want to get all the Vestrons as well, because um, I just, you know, I don't do it too often, but the ones that have, like, the numbers and stuff, I just want to, I just want to do that for a couple of lines and I've kind of decided that Vestron and Paramount Presents are going to be the two lines uh, that I collect for. Try to get all of them. So there you have it. You got, uh, you know, Vanilla Sky. I, I've actually never seen this movie. And I've heard good things about it, so I need to check it out. 
Uh, but there you go. You got the classic uh, Vanilla Sky poster. I actually have this one on DVD, so I do have it um, in the collection. And I got Ragtime. Hadn't picked up Ragtime yet. I feel like I've heard some good things about Ragtime. I'm trying to see what, what year this movie came out in. Uh, 1981. 1981. That was a good year for film. For sure. Show you the front. I don't know if this is like a musical or something. It looks like this one has two discs. You got the feature film, and then you got the never before uh, released director's cut uh, work print of the film. So you got two discs on this one. And then we'll lift this up. This is spine number 28. And that's a nice little poster right there. So I'm happy to have ragtime. And then I got Harold and Maude. Harold and Maude, this is spine number 29. I think this was the last one uh, of, of 2021 that came out. 2021, like they were on fire. Like they. I think came out with spine numbers 13 through 29 um, in 2021. And this year, they've come out with 30 through, I think the most recent was Blue Hawaii, which was number 36. So they've only done uh, like seven this year. And they did like, God, how much is that? 12 to 20? That's like 17 or 18 they did last year. So they have done significantly less this year. But I love the cover on this, and this is another movie that I have not seen. Seems kind of like a weird movie, like a younger kid falling in love with an old lady. I don't know if I can quite get behind that plot, but I'll check it out. There's probably more to it than that, I'm sure. But yeah, Harold Mod, awesome cover on this one. They did a great job with that one. All right, so, and then I got uh, Ordinary People. So this is the, I think, Best Picture winner uh, from 1980. Yeah, it actually says that on the front. Uh, Best Picture 1980, which... Blows my mind. There's so many great movies that came out in 1980, but this ordinary, ordinary people won Best Picture. You had Empire Strikes Back, which I know is not winning an Oscar. The Shining came out in 1980. Oh my goodness. Raging Bull. Like that's the one that gets me. Martin Scorsese's Raging Bull. But again, I have not seen Ordinary People. Maybe Ordinary People just blows all of those films away. Who knows? Probably does. It doesn't sound like it would with a title like Ordinary People. But anyway, this is Spine uh, number 30. So pretty cool. Boop, 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 boop. And then we'll go ahead and... Uh, I don't know what that was. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to start doing that with everything. And then you got the original poster right there. I don't know. I need to do a series on the channel. Because I have not watched like a ton of my Paramount Presents. I've watched a few. I've watched Fatal Attraction and, and To Catch a Thief. And then I missed out on a lot of them. Uh, I watched Flashdance. I know I watched Flashdance, but I need to do like some kind of series where I just go through them all one by one and review them, or maybe I review five at a time or something like that. That could be cool. All right, so let's go through, uh, you know, my subscriber mail. I got uh, how many packages do I got? I think I got three, three or four packages. Um, but this stuff was sent to me. The first thing I'm going to get into was sent to me uh, by Ryan Nar, who sent me a lot of good stuff last time. He sent me Barney and the Chipettes. Our only kid, Ryan. Only kid, Ryan, if you're watching. All right, so we got some more. We got some more DVDs. We got some more DVDs. More DVD action. A couple of these I do have in the collection already, uh, but I don't have special edition Jackass the movie unrated. I don't think I have Jackass in the collection. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel like I might need Jackass in the collection. Got Jackass two in the collection. Awesome. Assassination Nation is the movie. I got that on Blu-ray. I found that at the Dollar Tree. So I'll probably have to give that one away. But it's still in the plastic, so that's cool. Um, this is a really cool set right here. This is a four-movie classic Western set. Um, and it's got uh, the Texas Rangers, Canyon Passage, Kansas Raiders, and the Lawless Breed. So that's cool. I definitely want more Westerns in the collection because I'm going to do a Western Month Part 2. And I don't know, somebody let me know, are these movies even on Blu-ray? I think it's cool to have some movies, classic movies that might not be on Blu-ray on DVD. I do still collect for DVDs, so cool. I, I will absolutely, I, I, I appreciate that one. Uh, we also have Arctic Blast. This looks like an interesting one. Kind of like a day after tomorrow uh, ripoff, but it says negative 70 degrees and dropping. Damn, that's bad. Like if it's negative 70 and it's still dropping, you know you're in trouble. You're about ready to freeze that tushy off. Uh, did I just say tushy? Uh, okay, so this next package comes from Jason V. Comes from Jason V. And it said his last name. But look, I'm going to try not to pronounce people's last names anymore. Um, for one, you know, because I want them to have their privacy. And for another reason, um, 
I can't pronounce most of them sometimes. All right, so look, let's see, what do we got here? What do we have here, Jason? I got Guardians, not of the Galaxy, just Guardians. And uh, yeah, who is in this? Who is in this? I don't think it's come out of the plastic yet. That one person looked familiar. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. What is this? Guardians? This is a Shout Factor release, though. Shout Factory put this one out. This is like a generic Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, it's got a massive wear bear, a man who can move mountains, a martial artist, and a blade master alone. They are freaks together. They are guardians. Okay, cool. I'll, I might watch that. I might watch that. All right, so let's get into this next one. Uh, this is from Jake. This is from Jake B. I think I know who this is. I actually think that this is uh, my good buddy over at Steelbook Obsessed. He told me he was going to send this to me after we did the October roundtable. And I mentioned not getting E.T., the new version of E.T. And he said, look, I have an extra and I will send it to you. I said I would love that. And I would love that. And I do love that because I've got E.T., another version of E.T. on 4K. Oh, my God. Look at E. Oh, it's, it's embossed. He's embossed. E.T.'s embossed. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, God, it's so awesome. Oh, this is a great slipcover. This is a great slipcover. I'm so glad I didn't miss out on this. So thank you so much, uh, Jake, for sending this to me. Uh, but look at that. Look at the, the banner. That's awesome. The E.T. He's embossed. I love it. I love that E.T.'s embossed. I can just feel E.T. all day. I love E.T. so much. I just do. Did that make a sound when I did that? Oh, my goodness. Is that weird? Is that weird that I'm just feeling E.T. right now in this video? I'm sure half of you have clicked off already, but look, I love him. I love him so much. 40th anniversary. I think you get some uh, new special features in this. Uh, over four hours of bonus features. Nice. I'm excited. I am really excited to have this. And then we'll look right there. Yeah, when I first saw this, I was like, I, did this even have a slipcover? I wasn't sure it had a slipcover. Um, and then you look inside, you got some the 4K disc and you got the Blu-ray disc. I love the artwork. I, I want to watch this. I want to watch this tonight. I love E.T. I, I, need, I need more time. I need more time in my life to watch E.T. It's sad. Um, but he also, what is this? God, I didn't know you were this legit, Jake. Steelbook obsessed. Look at this. Look at this. He's got freaking pins. These are like Scream Factory pins. That's his logo right there, I think. Look at that. That's cool. You got pins, Jake. I need some pens. That's nice. I like that. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, definitely, I will link uh, Jake's channel down below, Steelbook Obsessed. He is on YouTube, but he, he's on TikTok as well. He's huge on TikTok. That dude's blowing up on TikTok. Um, so I will link his YouTube and his TikTok. Uh, uh, TikTok. I said TikTok. Uh, his TikTok and his Instagram all down below in the description so you guys can go give him a follow. He's a great dude. Um, and he has a great, he has great content on his, on his channel and his TikTok and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get to my next package. This is from Lionsgate. So they told me that they were going to send this to me or the guy that has reached out to me about, uh, you know, using the footage of my American Psycho, uh, steelbook praise, the ranking of the steelbooks I did praising American Psycho. And, uh, he reached out to me and he said, look, we want to send you something for getting to use your. Uh, you know, your video, you know, as a thank you for us winning. And I said, sure, I'll take some stuff. I'll take some free Lionsgate swag. Why not, huh? Anyway, he asked me some stuff if I if I needed some stuff, some stuff that I haven't gotten from them. And there was a steelbook that came out recently that I have not gotten. I missed out on. I was like, I kind of need that one. Can you send me that? And he said, yes. So let's see if he delivered. God, there's a lot of packaging in here. It's like in a big envelope, then it was in a, a UPS envelope. It got wrapped up, but now it's in paper. They really know how to wrap a steel book over a Lionsgate. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a few things. Oh, actually, there's a couple things. Um, but the thing that I was, I'm gonna peel this off first, because he's got this attached, um, and then I'll show this last. Uh, but the thing that he sent me was the Punisher Warzone 4K Steelbook, and this one came out in October, and I missed out on this one. Um, I, I couldn't find it in stores, and then it just kind of flew over under the radar. And there was just so much coming out in October. It's like I couldn't get everything, um, and I don't know. 
I don't know. I really wanted this steelbook though. I missed out on it. But this is an awesome, awesome, awesome steelbook. I love this steelbook. And the slipcover is red. And that's definitely different. I have not seen an all red steelbook slipcover from Lionsgate yet. So that's awesome. And look at the artwork on that. That is insane. That's a, it honestly reminds me of like the same coloring that they used for the T2 steelbook last year. It kind of reminds me a lot of the T2 steelbook. But yeah, super awesome. Super awesome. Thank you all so much for sending this to me if you're watching. Uh, if you're watching, man. But all right, let's look at that. Look at that. Ooh, my goodness. Look at that. Lionsgate. Killing it with the steelbooks. Killing it with the steelbooks. Killing it with everything. They're on fire lately. And I'll show you all the, the back, the background stuff. The interior artwork, I think is what they call it. All right. My goodness, I'm so all over the place. I, whenever I do these unboxings, it's like plastic and crap flies everywhere. <laughs> it just gets so messy around the table. Uh, okay, so the last thing that he said he was gonna send me. So apparently this coin was used in John Wick, the actual movie John Wick, and it's the continental currency. And yeah, that is the that is the coin. This is a coin that they used in the actual film John Wick. I think John Wick. Maybe it was John Wick 2, maybe it was John Wick 3. It was one of the John Wicks that they, they actually used this coin in. So this was in a movie. This was in a John Wick movie. That is super awesome. But yeah, thank you so much, man, for sending that to me. Definitely really cool. Uh, look at that. I got two two little cool collectibles uh, in this video. I got the I got the Jake Steelbook Obsessed pen, and I got a coin uh, that was used in John Wick. That is awesome. This was definitely an awesome haul video. I'm excited about everything new that I got in the collection. Definitely look out for the In Company of Wolves review. I do plan to do that um, on the channel pretty soon. But thank you all so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Comment down below on anything that I got. You know, just whatever you want to comment. Leave me a comment down below. And be sure to turn on those bell notifications and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description. And we'll see you next time.